Good morning, grade seven and grade eights. Today is Tuesday, May the 26th, and we are working on some poetry. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this poetry, because I know there are probably some among you who are groaning in your seats. Oh, Miss Grokula is making us do poetry. Uh, why does she torture us? Why does she hate us so much? Uh, no, but the reason why poetry, um, why many people don't really love doing poetry is because Poetry is tricky. Poetry is, is not an easy thing. And one of the things that makes poetry so tricky is that we often do not read poetry regularly in our regular lives. Um, it's not like, you know, oh, dinner is done. Let's sit down and enjoy some poetry, some poetic verses here before we go to bed. We People used to do this like 150 years ago, um, but we don't really do this so much anymore. And so because of that, we don't have these like beautiful examples of poetry lurking in the dark corners of our brains that we can like draw upon in order to make something to create something to, to write some poetry and so because of that um it becomes difficult to write poetry so um what i am doing now today is i am giving you um, a poem to look at look through really carefully dissect it um understand it as best you can, answer some questions about it. Um, and then hopefully this will help to make the writing of poetry a little bit easier. And we'll, I'll make you read a bunch of poems because I'm, I'm gonna torture you that way. Um, this first poem, I have it here. It's uh, called Where the Sidewalk Ends. Um, I'd like to read it to you, but I will warn you that I suck at reading aloud and I'll probably screw it up. And um, if I do, I'm not pressing stop and record fresh, okay? So you're just gonna have to listen to me bumble my way through it. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, here we go. <sighs> There's a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white. And there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends past the pits and where the asphalt flowers grow. We shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow and watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow and we'll go where the chalk white arrows go for the children they mark and the children they know the place where the sidewalk ends. I got through it, woohoo. All right, so this is written by somebody named Shell Silverstein. And I'm not really sure if Shell Silverstein is a boy. It could be like Shelburne or maybe Shell Silverstein is a girl. Maybe it's Shelly, I'm not really sure, um, but anyways, this person, Shell Silverstein, managed to write a pretty cool poem, I think. Um, the reason why I kind of like this poem so much is because I feel like it's a poem about getting back to nature. It's a poem about, about leaving um, the, the civilized whirlwind of a world that we live in behind and kind of seeing that, um, that nature and being, being able to appreciate it. Um, that's kind of how I see it. Um, I wonder how you see it. Now, there are some things that Mr. or Miss um, Shell Silverstein does in this poem that I think is, is kind of interesting and worth talking about. There, um, he or she is using several very important poetic devices that make this poem work, okay? Um, one of them is the use of um, repetition. We see the same kind of line marked through a few of the stanzas. Remember each like little paragraph is called a stanza. Okay, we're remembering that. Um, and so we have like where the sidewalk ends. It kind of happens a bunch of times. And uh oh, I'm almost out of time. Um, yeah, I might have to make a second video because I kind of want to keep talking here. But um, there's a couple of things that they do here and you know and there the grass grows and there the sun and there the moon birds so i, I like that i feel like that that use of repetition helps the poem i'm going to talk about other things in this poem 